Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the main floor. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Melody and I have been building this home for about over a year and a half. And I we relocated from California and now we're here in Nebraska. Oh, let's start off in the entryway. The entryway color is painted alabaster and I decided to do a staircase that is open. So eventually what we would like to do is add wood floors to those two landing areas um, and then have the rest carpet. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and keep it as is. I also wanted my entryway to have uh, no carpet shown along the edges. So we had our carpenter build, uh, I guess you could call it a, it was just a wood trim, was just called wood trim. And, um, I think it turned out really pretty. I'm very thrilled of the detail work that he did with all the trim work to make it just look a little bit extra than your just basic wood white box. And I wanted our uh, posts to match the floors. These floors are our absolutely favorite engineered wood floors. They're called um, 1875 and the color Putney. And what I loved about them is that they have knots and holes and tons of character. So that way when my son is banging on the floors with his toys, guess what? It's supposed to look rustic and that wide plank farmhouse style. So, you know, that it will be very forgiving with all the nicks and scratches that he will bring. Hopefully it shouldn't, it should last durability. I will keep you guys posted on that. Um, he assured me that, it, you know, and since it's oak, it is strong. So we had our posts, uh, I guess you could call it stain matched at Sherman Williams. And they, I picked out the darkest part of the floor and my painter ended up matching it. And I think it turned out really pretty. Um, here's my chandelier. I got that from um, Ferguson. And I just love the classic um, wheel look. I will link all my light fixtures in the description box if you guys are interested. These are from Wayfair. They're by the Kelly Clarkson brand. They come in gold as well. I believe the black is out of stock, but I like how it tied in with the wheel. Um, we wanted to go with all matte black fixtures, knobs, poles, and um, just anything to tie in that farmhouse classic style look. This one is also from Ferguson built as well. And I liked it because we can add garland around it for the Christmas time and then also um, fall leaves. And I can just, you know, zip tie it or twisty it and it will look really pretty. So this is the dining room area. Just started with that, sorry. And um, I haven't got a table yet, so I will be on the hunt for that. And my future plans for this back wall is to do uh, vertical V, uh, probably, maybe v board going up and down and then do a peg rack across with a little shelf that i can actually hang pictures on and um you know just decorate up top we decided to do interior windows black my trim color is extra white by sherman williams and um, it's just a really pretty white um, we decided to also go with these standard doors over here and I like the verticalness because it reminded me of an old farmhouse style door or those vintage doors from the 1900s. And we went with a transom windows in some of the areas. So moving along to our dining room, not dining room, sorry, living room, is um, we decided to add knotty alder beams. Now these are builder grade, but I love that they tied in that with that rustic look. We have our stone um, picked out. I will, I forgot the name of it, but I, if you guys are interested, you guys can DM me and I can let you guys know the uh, stone color and type. The beam is actually from a John Deere factory located in, I believe, Kansas City. Um, we had it custom made and stained to match our beams. And uh, the guy was really cool. We had, we picked out our beam and it was giant enormous. So he cut it down to size 
and we made sure that it was the perfect width as well. And then I had him make that extra, uh, I had him make corbels out of the extra pieces of wood. And I think it turned out really pretty. My husband really wanted a rustic look um, and I wanted it to be neutral. And then also I wanted it to look like, kind of like that cabin, old farmhouse style, um, just something, you know, cause back in the day, they used to just dry stack their stone, but I, but, and it would be chunky, it would usually be limestone. So I wanted something that still has that chunky look, but has the colors integrated with all my warm tones. So a neutral palette. Um, and then I wanted the front of our fireplace to have an arch. This is called an Arcadia arch. And I originally wanted something round up top, but he wasn't able to do it for me. So this is the next best thing. So turning around is my favorite part, is the kitchen. I put my heart and soul into this, guys, and I'm so happy how it turned out. I wanted to do just be that classic white farmhouse kitchen. I know everyone's doing the two-tone thing, but I figured, you know what? This will grow with me and it will just stay as that classic style. Um, I did a little bit different as far as my island. I decided to go with a beadboard backing right here and I added legs. I will also do a, um, I will link the stone colors in here, but I do know that these are quartz. I, it's by Cambria brand. Um, this is Fieldstone. The black is called Fieldstone, and I will put the name in the corner of what this one is called. My mom picked this out, and I liked it because it's not a pure white. If you notice, it's kind of like an off-white ivory, but it still has hints of veining of brown and black, which ties in with all the tones as well as the back. So I did kind of go a little bit what everyone else is doing with the white uh, island along with the black background, but I saw this on Pinterest, uh, just the color tone, and I was obsessed with it. Um, the paint color is called West Highland White, I think, or Westgate White. Um, I'll have it in the corner. Um, it's an off-white. It's not as stark white as the extra white. I had my builder or the cabinet maker do like a in trim that's in my cabinets. If you notice that it, it's not just completely square. And I had him do a backsplash of beadboard over here because this is going to be my coffee station. And I saw a Pinterest picture of uh, a beadboard backsplash with coffee and I was just obsessed with it. I thought it was pretty. Uh, if you guys have been with me since my house in California, you notice that um, my windows here or my cabinets are the same shape as what I had in my other home. If you guys are very detail oriented, I did the same thing just to kind of remind me of my California home when I see my new kitchen. So just to kind of tie in. Now, what I ended up doing with this kitchen is I made what they call a bump out. So I wanted it to look like a piece of furniture built into the island with my farmhouse sink. I didn't want just like your regular like cabinetry and it turned out beautiful. I'm so happy with it. So the wood is called Naughty Alder and the stain is matched my uh, wood, or call it floors. And I did a regular farmhouse sink. I still have yet to have my latch put on in the middle of my cabinet there. I noticed, you guys probably noticed that there's no uh, hardware there. So I'm gonna put a latch on those two doors. And so that's coming from top knots. So hopefully it works out well. Uh, these are from all my hardwares from top knots. This is from Amazon. If you guys are interested, just message me and I'll send you guys the link. I had to uh, do a three inch on these because of the way how it came out right here. So I couldn't do the same as this because this is the smallest to carry is five. Um, so my uh, faucet here is called a Moen and it is stunning. It's in stainless steel and it remind me of Waterstone. If I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a Waterstone faucet. It needs to be turned off. Um, 
those are like three grand. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna spend $3,000 on a Waterstone faucet. I'll get something that's very similar. And so I opted to this and I think it looks really pretty. Uh, we just got a new fridge in this week. It's an LG. I'll let you guys know how it works and if the ice maker works, because that seems to be the thing that breaks for most people's fridge. And coming around, let me go from here. Yeah, so you guys can see. Um, I wanted a different type of backsplash here. I wanted something that is true, like architectural pleasing, where it catches your eye as you come around the corner to the kitchen and something that I will never get tired of, and that is brick. And most people will do the white grout. I wanted to just stick with a classic gray because I feel like if this was an old farmhouse and you ripped out a wall and you saw an old chimney, most likely it would be regular mortar because they didn't really have colored mortar back then. So I wanted something that would age with time and just be really pretty. We ended up sealing this brick because it's very porous with Valspar Invisible Seal and so far it has worked out really well as far as upkeep. Um, my appliances are GE, so um, this is GE, that is Frigidaire, and my uh, dishwasher is GE as well. I really, really, really wanted the Italian stove that is really pretty, but I don't have seven, eight thousand dollars to spend on a stove, so this will make do until I figure out what I want. But, and plus it was on feet and I'm just worried about cats getting underneath there and my son making a little hole, so. Um, okay, so the corbels, I didn't do builder grade. I got those from Etsy and I will link them in the description box down below. I had him use Naughty Altar, just the same as my trim work here and they're beautiful. I think they're stunning. They're chunky enough, they're big enough. I had them cut, make them to size. So you can have them custom make to size. And then the reason why I chose Naughty Older is so that way the st stain would take on both. Um, my pot filler here is by Waterstone. I ended up doing Waterstone pot filler because we have reverse osmosis in the house. And unfortunately, reverse osmosis only applies uh, Waterstone only carries reverse osmosis compliant pot fillers um, and it's it's stunning. I'm really happy with it. It is stainless as well. We took our cabinets to the ceiling because we wanted to elevate the space. We have nine foot ceilings in this house. Upstairs is eight and I am obsessed. Let me come over here to my pantry door. Most people would want it hidden I wanted it to stand out. I didn't want it to look like a cabinet. I wanted it to look like an old vintage door. And plus it would tie in, break up all that white and add some warmth to the floors. I got my hardware here from Etsy. He, oops, sorry, um, from Etsy. And I think it's really pretty. I think it tied in. I wanted a back plate. I didn't want like your typical, like regular knob. I didn't want vertical um, poles. I wanted it to look like a door. So I think my builder did a fantastic job. So coming around, this is the drop zone. And this is where we would drop all our mail. And so we did the same. This is extra white uh, cabinetry color in here. So you guys can see if you like that color for your cabinets. And I did my, I guess you can call it locker area, the same extra white. And then I did a naughty older bench seat. I wanted something to just tie in with something really pretty. And plus I didn't want white because I figured that it would get dirty over time and constantly clean it. So this is the drop zone. Um, this area is here for the pantry. So we will enter it in. So this is nice because it's off the garage. So we will enter in the non-secret pantry door. <laughs> and hopefully the lights come on automatically. So it just opens up like this, which is really cool. And then we're just gonna go in. 
Uh, right now I have all my stuff kind of decor, decor storing. We haven't, the light will come on, hopefully. Okay, so here is um, our pantry. And I'm very pleased with it. I decided to just do extra white on the shelves and just have them in. The lights, guys, are not for, like what is going to be. I have mason jars going in. They're antique. They're the ones that were over my island in my house in California. So we just have to raise them and add the mason jars to here. So I got to bring them with me. So I'm happy. They look great. Um, we decided to do a butcher block countertop here and stained it. Um, this pantry is big enough uh, to put a fridge, which is awesome. So we're going to get another fridge here. And I'm going to have my vacuum cleaner station over here, my cleaning supplies. So it'll be nice and tidy. Um, the ceiling here, we decided to do V-groove. So a lot of people do vertical shiplap. I did V-groove here and tied in the beams and we also raised the ceiling so it's a little bit different height to add interest and so this is the dinette area i got this rug from facebook market today so pretty it's wool and i got it for 100 bucks guys and it's originally 600. i think i got a steal this is a little baby chair for my baby boy I'm so excited for him. So this is his transitional chair whenever he gets big enough that he doesn't need his high chair. So he can sit up with daddy on the counter, uh, what do you call it, the bar over here. And uh, we did undermount lighting over here underneath the island and underneath there, all those cabinets are not faux. That is storage, guys. So you, I sold my buffet in LA and so all my... Uh, cookware is going underneath there, all my entertainment wear. In the model home, they had two windows um, right there and then one on each side. So I eliminated the windows so I can have all space to decorate. So let's walk into the rest of the main living area and then we'll head, head upstairs. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Guys, if you guys are interested in this wall color, it's called Natural Tan by Sherman Williams. It is a beautiful, creamy tan it doesn't give you any beige colors uh or not beige i'm sorry pink tones peachy tones nothing it's a warm beigey gray i would like to describe it in person it looks beautiful at night during the day in the sunlight and i think it looks perfect with alabaster it's just that perfect neutral and here's my powder room i wanted to go with that vintage feel in here so let me zoom up to this beautiful antique light that my mom found at our antique mart over here. We've had, we've been holding on to this thing for two, almost a year and a half. So since I even had this before I even built my home, I knew I wanted to put it in my powder room. And so I wanted to find a sconce to match. And so we found this. And this is off of, again, Ferguson as well, built. And the one in the dinette also, if you guys were interested, that was from built as well. Um, pedestal sink. I want something that, you know, I don't have, I, although I should worry about storage, but I'm thinking about putting a vintage piece in here for all my toilet paper, paper towels, things like that for guests. Um, I want it to look like those old vintage sinks that you would find that, but I was going to go with it, but I decided not to because they're awfully short. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know if you see vintage items, sometimes they're super short because I guess people were short, shorter back then. Um, I did beadboard in here and the color is called shiitake and then the wall color is creamy. So those are both Sherman William colors. I'm going to do uh, a stenciling that Thorn Grove did on Instagram. I'll link a picture in the corner of what the stenciling looks like in her bathroom. So I'm going to attempt that and see if it works out. This is my husband's office. Eventually, maybe it might be mine. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we're going to repaint this window, uh, window uh, room. It's going to be um, Benjamin Moore Van Helsing Blue. It was a same color that I had in my California home. And we love it so much that we decided to incorporate in this home. My husband wanted a ceiling fan light fixture. So this is from Ferguson as well. And it's super cute, it's that industrial look because a lot of this furniture that we had in our old California home was very industrial. So our plan here is to put a little 
um, chair, some bookshelves, and his desk will go over here. We'll see. Oh, so these lights over here are from Ferguson as well. I wanted that, uh, I guess you can call it, it's schoolhouse light look. These are from Etsy and they're a glass maker. It's called Old Brick Mill. I will have them in the description box down below as well. And they did those along with my schoolhouse lights in my drop zone. And they're hand blown glass. So they kind of have imperfections and a hint of blue, which I love. Okay, so coming upstairs, we have our little landing area. And I think the color turned out really pretty. We just love alabaster. Love our lights. And I wanted the hallway to be the same color, bright and airy, it's by Alabaster as well. I'm gonna go into my office. Nothing much here, just standard carpet. It's a stain master. I think the color name is Biscuit. I'll double check on that. But we just did regular blindfold doors in here. And of course the boob light. <laughs> But I am, I'm okay with it. I haven't decided what I'm gonna decorate and maybe one day this will be my son's um, playroom. We'll see. But the colors on, on this wall is called Creamy. But let's go ahead and go into my son's bathroom to start. So I picked out this tile before I knew I was having a boy, but I figured it would be neutral and it would be fun. So that's what I did for his Jack and Jill bathroom. And the color name is called Versatile Gray. It's kind of like a taupey gray. And I think it looked really perfect with the tile. We ended up doing just a standard uh, cabinetry in here. But the knobs are again are from Top Knots. I wanted to go with a more contemporary vibe. We have a uh, stainless steel, uh, what is it, uh, crate and barrel mirrors that we're gonna be hanging up in here. These lights are from Etsy. I'll have their shop link down below. I wanted like a fun, it's not really a Spugnik look, but um, it has that vibe of like round globes. And um, we just did basic build a grade Delta faucets. And his cap, uh, his uh, countertops turned out really pretty too. I will put the countertop name in the corner of the screen if you guys are interested. These are quartz as well. And I just wanted, I just love this tile. It's just so fun. It just reminds me of a quilt. I wanted to pull down a shower head so that way it, he can take baths as he grows or showers as he grows. And it's easier for me to give him baths as well. And we incorporated the tile in this little niche here. I'm going to do a shower curtain in here. We decided not to do a regular like glass door because that way I can give him a bath in here. Nothing too crazy. I suppose I should probably talk about my toilets. It's cooler brand. It's just a toilet, but if you guys are interested. <laughs> uh, decided to do the nursery over here. And um, the color name is Ivory Lace. I'm gonna do wallpaper on this wall. And just, I wanted something warm and cozy. We're gonna do blues, reds, mustard colors um, against the same carpet. We're eventually gonna switch it out to wood floors. Um, we just had, you know, decide not to do it right away just because, you know, it's a nursery. I want it nice and soft for him when he's crawling. Uh, the light, I believe, is from Overstock. Um, it's just a basic black, uh, matte bat black fixture. Let me see if I can turn it off. Yep, so you guys can see it. With a white glass, uh, we call glow. Go into the guest room, which is my favorite room, as far as all the other rooms besides our master. Um, I just love the light in here, how it reflects in the sun, it's just so pretty. So this right here is a cathedral ceilings. Um, this light fixture may look weird to you guys, but it's gonna have a shade dome going around. So I've yet to put that up, but it's gonna look really pretty. So it's gonna be, it's a white shade. Um, let's see here. The lighting in here is a little bit dark right now, 
but you can kind of tell. So the uh, wall color is creamy, and then the um, trim work again is extra white. Now I decided to do something really fun in the bathroom here. I wanted something vintagey, like a quilt, kind of like the other one, but really go all out as far as the color. Uh, it's just really pretty. It's gonna come together as far as style. I will have the color in the description box down below of my uh, trim work over here. Um, it's really pretty, like a green blue. You can see the, oops, sorry. You can see that it's different tones of green, green but it went really well with my floors. Um, unfortunately, these discontinued. They don't carry it anymore, so I had to hunt down for it. I got it on a freight last minute through another state and they were the last four boxes. So very pleased with them though. I wanted my vanity here to look like a dresser. So I don't know if you can tell the feet down here are just really pretty. I designed this myself. Just I'm obsessed with the knobs and everything and then just want it to look vintage. Um, the knobs again are from Top Knot so you can see that they're kind of like a a hand blown glass, but it's a little bit different. And this is really pretty. I don't know if you guys, oh, there's so much of some of the glare. Sorry about that, guys. Now you can kind of see it right here. It's kind of like, uh, it looks like marble, has some specks in it. And my faucet is by Delta as well. So let's go up to the light fixture. This is Ferguson as well. So if you notice that there is some shades there, so it's gonna tie in. I did all chrome fixtures because fortunately that's the standard and I wanted it to look luxurious, I guess you'd call it, and pretty. Uh, maybe I'll get some better lighting in here so I can really show you guys what the, uh, it looks really pretty with marble. Oh, there we go. You can really see the veining in this. It's really pretty. They haven't put in the shower head yet, but hopefully by the time I get this video out, you guys can see uh, what they're gonna install. They still have yet to install. And there's a little cute little window here. Thinking about putting what, like, um, what do you call it, antique glass in here to kind of reflect everything. It'll look really pretty in here. Um, the walls are creamy. So if you can tell, it can give out either a yellow tone or a white tone depending on the room. So go ahead and test it out. Let's go ahead and head over to my laundry room which I did not have really in my California home, which I'm super excited. And I'm obsessed with my floors. So these are a linoleum. And I wanted that look of like, it was a Pinterest picture. I'll have it in the description, uh, the corner of the screen. You guys can see my Pinterest inspiration pick. I'm obsessed with them. They're really cool. I wanted something fun and fresh. Um, I have, the cabinet color is called Valspar and it's called Grandma's Linen. It's like a green blue. I got my knobs from Hobby Lobby and I just did a basic black countertop. I'm gonna put some shelves over here with a rod so I can hang my uh, clothes. And the color on the walls is called Creamy. So you guys can see the green. Really pretty, huh? I also got my light fixture here from the old brick mill on Etsy. And then this is a milk glass. So, oh, I always think that the light switch is on the other side. So let me see. So you guys can see how pretty that is. I did everything in here um, that was it old, old rub bronze. I don't know if you guys noticed that my handles kind of look like old, oh, what do you call schoolhouse lights as well? That was not intentional. I just really like the look of the color and the patina. So let's head into the room that why we bought this house besides the just the layout in general, how we love it. And this is our master. I love my master. We never had anything so like I guess you can call it spacious in our in our California home. So this is definitely an upgrade. We have a sitting room and then we have a regular space over here. So I'm ex very looking forward to decorating this space. Um, I did creamy in here. I was gonna change it to alabaster, but I changed my mind. 
because I thought that it would just look really um, warm and inviting and it doesn't really come off too much of a yellow. It depends on the light of day. Sometimes it can look yellow and sometimes it could look white. And I figured alabaster would not really give a depth, especially in this ceiling over here, because uh, we would have to paint this alabaster and you wouldn't really see any contrast. Uh, my ceiling fan is believe from Overstock. I'll have that link down below. Um, it has globes that are, instead of the candles, uh, what do you call it, the candle lights. I have yet to put them on because I need to polish everything. But I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a, almost like a flower look. And it, I got, this is not the same brand as these lights here. Um, which is shocking. So I was able to match everything without be, it being the same brand. So that was exciting. So these are from Amazon. And then this is from Overstock as well. So my plan is, with this fireplace, is to do some wainscoting above, paint it white, and then do some legs coming down the side. I will actually put a picture in the corner of the screen so you guys kind of see my vision as far as the legs go. But I love how this turned out. I just wanted to look like that French cut tree look. And uh, the mantle is a standard. Eventually, I would like to do a antique mantle, but we have yet to find one that's this big. So let me actually show you the light fixtures so you guys can see how pretty they are. I love that it has like dripping, like um, looks like candle, real candles, you know, burned. It's really pretty. And then this one has the same thing, it has the fluted flower with the lights. And I was inspired by my dresser doorknobs. They're um, uh, that antique look with the glass. And so this is this coming from this view. So the bed will go on this wall with the side tables. I have a dresser with a mirror over here. And then my husband's, um, I guess you call it high boy, is going to go over here. And I want to get a, one of those TVs that look like a painting when you have it off, uh, just above the high boy, so that way we can watch TV in here. And then I want to get like a little lounger, little TC lounger that looks like kind of like that vintage Chase Lounge. And then two chairs here with a um, table in the middle and a round rug. I've yet to find it. I'm excited for to show you guys my bathroom. That is something that I put my heart and soul as well as far as the design goes, besides the kitchen. It's my husband's um, closet. Nothing much. So it's a walk-in closet, but uh, in the regular um, builder, they had it like cut off like right here. So it was cut off like right right here, so that was the closet. We extended it a lot bigger because my husband got tired of having all his clothes like fill up the guest room, the office. So he's like, I'm gonna get a walk-in closet. So we extended, we pushed the closet out, and then we pushed this wall further towards the sitting room. So the sitting room is much smaller than the build, builder home, but we're like, it's a sitting room. I'd rather have more space in the main area, which we will be using more. So that was fun. And uh, we pushed it all the way back. It used to stop and then there would be an empty space back here, but we pushed it back in. So I'm happy that we did because we added value with a bigger closet. I really wanted vintage doors to open it, but we just decided to do build a grade doors. This tile I'm obsessed with. I will put a pic Pinterest picture of the tile and the vanity in the corner of the screen so you guys get my uh, the idea of what I'm doing. And it actually has the mirrors that I picked out from Wayfair. It's by Kelly Clarkson as well. Or is she on Overstock? I can't, no, Wayfair. And then the tile I was in love with too because it has that vintage inspired feel. And I kind of did the same style as far as the skirting goes. Um, for my vanity, but I want it to look like a piece of furniture as well. And so I designed this to have drawers and uh, on the bottom and then regular cabinetry. The um, countertop was quartz. My mom picked it out. I will have 
the name of it in the description box as well. I love it because it sparkles. It has hints of sparkle in it. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it has lots of like little flecks. There you go. You can see the little, little flecks here and there. So it sparkles a lot. It's like glitter everywhere. So we decided to do board and batten, but with a twist on the sides. I had my builder do a board batten, but add um, trim work around the edges to, to kind of finish it off than just a basic square and I had him do a ledge as well. So, whoop, uh, toilet room, nothing much to see. <laughs> um, the walls are painted gray screen by Sherman Williams. I know it looks purple on camera, but guys, it is a beautiful dusty blue. It's like a blue gray. Um, the shower over here, we did the same thing with the glass and uh, the board and batten. I did a vintage tub, has yet to be finished. I still have my water lines to install, so right now it has toilet bowl lines back there. So we have to figure that out. So this tub is from 1910, and my faucet is from a, I think it's called Stoneware or Stork something. I'll have them and the name of it in the description box down below and the faucet link as well. I love it. It's a vintage faucet. It has um, hot, shower, and cold, but the feet are really cool on this tub. We had it, we found it in an old house and so they got it, uh, we went to AAA Electric here in Nebraska and they were able to refinish it and chrome the feet. So the feet are really pretty. They have um, a lion's paw versus the regular, like I guess you can call it eagle paw. Again, there's this ugly line, sorry. But I did manage to score on a drain. I think it's called, by Signature Hardware. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna do some curtains here and some shelves. This over here, these lights are from build.com as well. I love the shades. I went into my shower. I ended up doing the same uh, brand is the tile, but only they do, um, I guess you call it basket weave. So I'm really pleased with it. It has a little bit of a hint of creaminess tan compared to the gray, but I don't mind it because if you look at my countertops, it's got some tans and grays in it as well. I wanted my uh, subway tile to look like it was handmade versus your flat look. So if you notice, it has a little bit of a green to it. And they made my niche over here the same uh, tile as my floors. And here is the shower. So uh, the shower head on the left is by Delta. This one's by Signature Hardware, the rain head. And I'm obsessed with it. Can't wait to take a shower in here. I love the knobs here. My um, hot water lines for my tub are gonna look like that, shut off valves. And you have to have shut off valves so that way, you know, if you need to do maintenance on your tub, it's easy to do. Right now, again, they just have toilet lines, which looks stupid, but whatever. Um, I'm just really pleased with how everything turned out in here. It's really pretty. And the tile is really soft to the touch with your feet. Oh, I didn't realize I never walked in here barefoot. <laughs> Yet, so a little seat here in the niche. Um, another feature why we bought this house is, or why we built this house in the model is my closet. Super exciting, it's super fun. Um, I never had a closet this big, so I've yet to, probably will never fill it in, but I'm happy that I have plenty of space to do so. Eventually, I would like to carry on my tile into this space here, um, just because it would be easy to clean. But for right now, we're gonna do carpet. And the lights are from Etsy as well. For code, they needed something closed, so I couldn't do an open chandelier. But they work, I like them. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden. So I just wanted to say.
say thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you guys have any questions in regards to any of my home, please leave a comment down below, let me know. And then also if you guys have any, you know, inspirations that you would think that would look really cool in my home, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future videos and please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this home tour. Again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And again, if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Melody and welcome to my Simple Valley home. And if you guys are been existing, thank you guys so much for always coming with me along the way from California to Nebraska. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.